Okay, welcome back, ICP gang, ICP fam. We are looking at CP, of course. Anyway, uh, getting right into the video right now. Uh, we are on the daily time frame. Yesterday's candle didn't doesn't look like a whole lot of nothing except uh, a lot of volatility, um, as pretty much the consolidation that we've been in since June twenty second. Uh, just a lot of volatility in this consolidation. Uh, we've been essentially ranging between about $3.91 and 3 or $4.57. So that being said, the other portion to this is that we have been consolidating in this like triangle or wedge. Uh, we've been making lower highs and higher lows all at the same time. So this consolidation would make me think that at the very least what we are seeing right now is more of like a ABC correction, if you will. And you're going to see something along the lines of that end up playing out, which should that end up playing out, then we would be looking for which the measure move for this like triangle. If I can get rid of that, would be roughly this purple line right here, let's say that we break out from about $4.36, that gets us roughly up to the 5 level at $5.04, just shy of our little boxy box over here at about $5.15. So that being said, um, that's kind of what I'd be looking for if you were to end up coming back on down. Uh, we did talk about, I mean, or I have talked about previously, uh, if you were to break down and make a new low, uh, the area that we'd look for would be this smaller white box over here, which consists of the price targets of $3.05 to $2.98. Um, from that point on, that's if you were to break the low, but um, at least as of right now, looking on the daily time frame, the major level that you need to kind of break above it and get closure above is about $4.29.30. Uh, upon doing so, the probability of at least coming back on up to that zero level once again at $4.47, it would be a lot higher. And then I think once you were able to get a closure really above $4.47, then you would be looking for uh, a lot more upside from that point on. So we did also label over here that we never ended up tagging this $4.67 to, or $4.67 for to about $4.66 flat. Uh, you do have a like small like supply or resistance area right there. Uh, so you could potentially end up getting stopped right there. Uh, however, following from that point, then we'd be looking really 382, 50, yada, yada, yada. And then that would be looking at the measure move, assuming that we would break out from the yellow box that we've had, which has been acting as a resistance. And uh, more importantly, we still are kind of getting stuck at this like general support slash resistance line that I'll mark right here with this purple line. As you guys can see, Res support, support, resistance, nothing. Support, support support now we haven't gotten back on up to it yet but you could still classify that as a resistance if you will so uh that being said that's all i really have for right now but overall i guess i am leaning a little bit more biased towards the upside so um if you were to come back down uh all you're necessarily looking to maintain is this general structure right here so you do not want to break three dollars 96 cents and you want to be looking to break back above uh, four dollars thirty nine cents too. So, other than that, none of this is financial advice. These are all just my thoughts and opinions. And you guys have a phenomenal day as always. Adios, muchachos.